Viewing panoramic imagery presents a number of challenges. As one widens the field of view using a planar perspective projection, the image begins to suffer from severe distortions. By shifting to a cylindrical projection, it's possible to view a 360 degree panorama, but the cylindrical projection causes straight lines in the scene to appear bent. In this paper, we present an approach that makes it possible to straighten selected regions of a panorama while preserving the overall context. We have developed a simple user interface to select regions that require straightening. The user draws directly on the cylindrical view via a simple rubber band interface that automatically adapts to the cylindrical geometry. The curved rubber band lines represent straight lines in the actual scene. This makes it easy to select meaningful regions of the panorama. Feedback is provided below of the projection of these regions on a plane. The user is able to make further refinements by modifying the orientation of the plane to adjust the perspective for shortening. Here we see the planar polygons the user has created placed in Euclidean space. Our first goal is to complete the projection surface. The remainder of the cylinder is constructed by fitting a surface which satisfies the user specified polygons and is both smooth and tries to conform to the unit radius cylinder. Unfortunately, unlike the original cylinder, this deformed cylinder cannot be unrolled onto the plane without suffering from distortions. One can see the problem as the regular grid squares on the deformed cylinder are no longer regular nor square. Our next goal is therefore to compute a new parameterization for reducing such distortions. Here we can see the parameterization being optimized to create an isometric mapping onto the deformed projection surface. As the optimization completes, we're left with a mapping that brings each point on the image plane to the appropriate source location in the original cylindrical representation. This is our final result. Here are some more results produced with our system with minimal user effort. Given the results, we can treat them as just a new type of projection. Thus, we can once more smoothly move between perspective projections at narrow fields of view and our new deformed cylindrical projection. In summary, our approach offers a new intuitive way for displaying and exploring wide panoramic views. Thank you.